Want to start with Emeka? Sure. Um, Emeka, last time uh, before uh, coming in for Devin during the Duke game, last time we saw Bailey on the field, it was uh, less than ideal performance against Virginia Tech. Did you notice any changes in his demeanor between uh, how his game went against the Hokies between uh, then and uh, when he came in for the Duke game? Oh, yeah, he's just always stayed ready, really. Um, just taking practice one day at a time. And just like, you know, when his opportunity comes, Coach Doran always talks about being ready about three opportunities. We had like a lot of players to go down or whatnot. So being ready to um, come in and step up and play. So he's always been ready. He's uh, prepared like a starter always. And he's started games here before too. And he's won games here before. So I know he's ready. Jonas. Hey, Mecca, thank you for the, uh, taking the time and speaking with us today. I think I saw somewhere that said you try to catch like two, 300 balls before or after practice um, during the week. If that's the case this week, have you tried the, uh, the Thayer Thomas catch against the helmet and practice any this week? Uh, I had I had one of those in practice uh, Virginia week, Wednesday. I had one-on-ones. I had a catch like that. But, I mean, we always kind of joke around the receivers, like me, CJ, Devin, and Thayer. We've all had, like, one-handed catch in the game. So, uh, it's, it's just part of the one-handed club that we call it. So, do you have that on film for proof? I mean, it's easy for you to tell us yeah. that. More to, more I mean, I can it. pull it up. I can definitely pull it up. It was really good. It was a really good catch. James Henderson. Yeah, Mecca. who do you think uh, North Carolina most resembles defensively, maybe that you've played this year? I mean, is there anyone you can kind of point to and say schematically they play a lot like North Carolina? Uh, I'd probably say probably maybe Virginia. Uh just because they press and then they also try to show off like a lot of Pitt and um, Pitt and Duke was a straight press basically. And then uh, Wake and VT, they were playing off uh, cover four, cover three. So I feel like Virginia played a little bit of both trying to press cover four, cover three, and then uh, North Carolina is the same thing as well. And do you feel like right now your confidence levels may be as high as it's been throughout your career? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I just – I don't really try to be too confident or too low, really. Just try to stay the same. So, I wouldn't say it's too high, but it's pretty good right now. Thanks, Michael. Uh Justin Williams. Hey, Mecca. Thanks for your time, man. Um, Joe mentioned that you guys don't prepare any different for North Carolina than any other week. But Coach Dorn mentioned yesterday that this is always an emotional game for y'all. As a senior leader on this team, what do you tell the younger guys about the emotions of this rivalry game and, and how do they kind of control that in the game situation? Uh, I mean, just whenever you play the game, you got to be smart. You don't want to uh, put your team in any, like, negative situations just because it's – uh, it's still a big game. Every game is a big game. So, I mean, controlling your emotions is always huge. But as for the rivalry, I mean, if you take it any differently, I mean, we everybody knows it's a big game. Like, everybody wants to say it's just one game. But, I mean, it is a big game. So, I mean, you just got to control your emotions. Just play the game how you know and play hard like we're supposed to. And just do the right things and you have a good outcome. Thank you. Uh, Mark Armstrong. Do you have any notion, Emeka, this week that you guys are really going to need to put a lot of points on the scoreboard to, to keep up with Carolina's offense, temper, you know, potentially? Or, or do you feel like your defense will have this handled? I mean, they have a good offense. But, I mean, I just – we have a good team, too. So, I mean, whatever we need to do, win the game, that's what we're going to try to do. So, I don't know what the situation is going to be. We're just going to try to put more points up and they put up. Brett Friedlander. Obviously, rankings don't matter till the season's over, but the fact that you guys are in the national rankings now, does that give you any kind of satisfaction that people are starting to take notice of you guys and giving you guys a little credit, whereas before the season, there were people on the ACC network talking about whether you guys would win one ACC game? I don't – I mean, me personally, I don't, I don't care about none of that. It would be better if we weren't even ranked. I mean, 
that's just how I feel. Always being an underdog is better. And I mean, we see, we've seen like what everybody thinks about us and that's fine, but we kind of keep that as a chip on the shoulder. So, I mean, ranking us now is cool, but we're gonna keep attacking like we've been. Mark, you have one more? Uh, yeah, do you have, uh, Ameka, a singular rivalry memory to this point? Obviously, you're hoping to create some new ones this Saturday, but is there one that jumps out to you up to this point? Yeah, I think Naheem's game, my freshman year, that was really cool. Uh, I, I remember I was in my freshman year, I was blocking him, seeing him spring like a long one. He had a really, really good game that game, and it was just fun, like, kind of seeing that team win and how Chubb just, like, manhandled those boys. Like, it was just, it's just fun to, like, watch all those boys. I miss them. Anybody have anything else for Mecca? All right, thanks everybody. Thanks, thanks guys. You.